Antiques Roadshow star Bunny Campione has announced the tragic death of her husband. The 77-year-old BBC One host confirmed Major Ian Graham, whom she's been married to for 21 years, has died aged 91. Bunny married Major Graham in 2002, years after their first chance meeting, where they drove into each other going around a corner on a country lane. Ian was married twice before. He married his first wife, Susan D. Esther Curtis, daughter of Captain Sir Gerald Curtis, on November 12, 1960. He then married for a second time to Diana Mansfield, daughter of Captain Edward Gerard Napier Mansfield and Joan Worship Byron, on August 29, 1972. Philip Schofield back on good terms with wife after this morning a ferian was born July 1, 1932, to Lewis Gretton Graham of Claver House and Diara Gray Wigan. He was educated at the prestigious Eton College, and later gained the rank of major in the King's Royal Rifle Corps. Don't miss Jade Goody's concerns about sons before death that Bobby Brazier proved wrong, latest, Dan Walker inundated with praise as he helps stop man from suicide, insight, Jeanette Manrara's husband sparks parenting debate as he holds baby Lyra, reaction, born Caroline Fisher in 1946 to squadron leader Francis Colburn Fisher and Iris Stewart, Bunny got her unusual nickname after she was given a coat that had a hood with rabbit ears on it. Bunny joined Antiques Roadshow in 1987. On the show, she specializes in automata, bird cages, custom and textiles, corkscrews, dolls, dolls houses, pre-Victorian miniature furniture and soft toys. Prior to her television career, she worked at Sotheby's for 23 years and Christie's in London. In 1992 she started her own company, Campione Fine Art and Antiques Consultancy. Last month Bonnie valued a doll on the Antiques Roadshow that she claimed was the most interesting and unusual doll she had seen in her 36 years on the show. The doll which stood two feet tall was owned by two sisters who said it had been in the family for over 50 years. But Bunny surprised the duo by telling them their item wasn't a doll after all but a funeral effigy, which she had dated to around 1715. Giving the sisters more information on the funeral effigy, she told them, the three-year-old son that died of a Duke of Buckingham and he was the first Marquess of Normanby and he died in 1715. So, in those days, the monarchy and aristocracy would make wooden and wax effigies to put on the funeral cask going to the funeral. And the surprises weren't over there. Bunny went on to reveal that the doll was worth between £10,000 and £20,000, leaving the sisters in shock as they believed it was only worth a couple of hundred pounds, 